We're back. Our guest for this segment is Dr. Alan Ingram, a vascular surgeon here at CMMC. Welcome, Dr. Ingram. What is vascular surgery? What does a vascular surgeon do? Well, vascular surgery uh, involves operations on the arterial and venous system in the body. Uh, we actually uh, do much more than surgery. We are the primary uh, care doctors for vascular-related problems. Uh, the, oftentimes the medical management of uh, vascular syndromes, of vascular insufficiency in the legs, in the head, um, a diagnosis and treatment of aneurysm disease, uh, diagnosis and treatment of venous disease. So uh, uh, vascular surgery, uh, by virtue of, of being specialists in the circulatory system, uh, encompasses both the medical management and the surgical treatment and oftentimes the interventional treatment of uh, vascular problems. So what kind of symptoms and what type of patients do you see? What, what symptoms do they have when they come see you? Well, if the uh, circulation is impaired to the head, it may well be blockages in the carotid arteries in the neck. Uh, for uh, circulation impairment in the uh, kidneys, it can be blockages to the kidney arteries or blockages in the intestinal arteries, which can affect the function of uh, the intestine, or it can be blockages that involve the uh, arterial or venous systems. So CMMC announced this new program last year which called Saving Lives Through Evidence-Based Medicine. This is part of this. Talk about that a little bit. Well, it, it, recognizing uh, the risk factors associated with vascular disease, one of the risks that uh, certainly exists in o older Americans, especially those who are male and especially those who have smoked, is aneurysms, uh, and aneurysms involving the aorta and iliac vessels, and sometimes the uh, vessels in your lower extremities. And uh, the aortic aneurysms still represent the 13th leading cause of death in this country, but amongst uh, elderly patients, that is the 65, 70, 75, and 80 year old population, it's considerably higher. And uh, Medicare now has recognized the uh, uh, importance of screening for uh, abdominal aneurysms. So uh, utilizing uh, the uh, medical record computer-based systems that we now have in effect and have had in effect for many years, uh, we can call out from that the people who are at higher risk, namely males over 65 with a history of smoking, and they, under Medicare, uh, can have a screening ultrasound of the abdominal uh, aorta for aneurysm. And it's actually been uh, quite successful in uh, detecting aneurysms. Now, once aneurysms are detected, then we can follow them and determine if they're large enough to warrant further treatment. Or uh, if they're still small, we, we follow them on a regular basis every six months or a year, depending upon size. And we uh, then use uh, size uh, determinations to, and also the patient's health, to determine how best to proceed in terms of management and treatment. Does some of that end up in surgery? Some ends up in surgery, some ends up in uh, uh, interventional treatments where uh, uh, much more minor surgical procedures can be performed with insertion of endografts. Uh, for example, one of the people detected had an endograft uh, performed yesterday for an asymptomatic but uh, uh, sizable aneurysm that was uh, a bit over two inches in diameter. Now the aorta should be only the size of your thumb in diameter, but you know one that reaches two inches is certainly significant and puts an individual at increased risk of sudden death. So recognition of the aneurysm is essential, but then uh, uh, management of it is determined by its size, its location, and uh, you know the patient's general overall health and uh, coexisting uh, morbidities meaning cardiac or pulmonary, uh, et cetera. And we also uh, institute uh, medical treatment 
uh, and there are some newer treatments which can, seem to, uh, at least with initial uh, evaluations, reduce the rate of growth of aneurysms. Doctor, that's, it is so comforting to me to know that we have this kind of expertise so close to home. You know, you know, I was involved in the fight to get CMHVI initially approved by the state um, and have watched its growth. And I it ought to be just as comforting to people who live in the Lowell and Auburn area to know that we have this kind of expertise in our hospital. Thank you for joining me. Um, Thank you. We'll be right back.